Hello beautiful people, hope so you're all having an amazing day because I'm having an amazing day. Today, we are going to cover topic of function overloading in C++. Without wasting time, to, let's move towards the basic definition. It's actually the process of creating several functions with the same name. Here is a set of four overloaded functions. Each function have either different number of formal parameter or different data type. Means you can also say uh, you can also say that that each function have different signature. Then what is signature? Signature is actually the function name and its formal parameter. Okay. However, the return type is not included in the signature. So let's move towards the Visual Studio to properly understand then the whole situation. Or scenario first of all we will make the basic syntax of c hash include is a preprocessor directive i stream is the input header file which contains input output function and namespace Our return statement is system pause, however, number of program uses return zero as the return statement. Now we will initialize uh, two variables, like one is integer data type, and the variable name is a, however, its value is two. And the second variable contains float that as a data type and its variable is z and let's say its value is 2.5 so what we will do we will make two function call for each of the data type our function name let's say is uh, calculator Uh, first function is for a and same is for the yeah, what you have to do in order to remove the error you have to make the prototype and and the second one is for the float. So we have to write float over there. Okay. Now you guys can see here the error has been removed. So we have to put the B, the second variable, uh, in fact, Z there. So you can see error has been removed. What we are doing in this program, we are actually uh, going to find the square and cube of uh, each uh, of the value integer and float so what we will do we will make a function definition now okay. we have to pass some value formal parameter uh, in order to perform some function if I write int here then obviously it's going to cover the int variable over there int variable over there and this one and the float will be missed out uh, however if we write float then obviously it's going to cover the second variable z and uh, the integer would be missed out here the function overloading plays role so it allows us to make an other function definition and uh, with this under the same name which i told you so it will help us to enter both these variables respectively. However, the second variable is this. These are the formal parameter. So now we can perform operation for both variable under same function name. We will also discuss the uses and benefits of the function overloading in the end. So if we have to uh, because we have to find the square so we have we have to define a local variable in order to save value and also show up in the later in the program so our variable is this and we have want to find the square of integer 
So here it is. A is equal to first multiply first because we are finding square of it and just simply call like a very simple program and and we want to find the cube of the second variable so we have we will repeat this process with a little change in it but what we have to do we have to change the variable and multiply by second so here we go you guys can see there is no error anymore and the function has been overloaded and we are doing the operation under same function name because of overloading okay uh, that's actually the benefit of it uh, when we make a large program uh, or software it uh, fast the, it fast in the it increases the speed of the program actually so let's run the program so to see what actually happened because of the data, data type the program will itself determine then which value which function call should move toward which direction so guys you can see here the result is there okay so the q of uh, if we make it float then what we'll get we will get the value in decimals so we should run again the program to show the proper result the program is actually determining that which function call should move toward which definition on the basis of formal parameters so guys you can see that the square of 2 is 4 which is showing up here in the program however the cube of 2.5 is 15.625 which is also showing up there so here's an example we should i think so move towards an other example in order to understand properly you are clear with it that what we watch in this program that on the basis of data type the on the basis of data type the function moves to its destined function definition what we gonna do we gonna remove this program except the basic syntax of c plus plus so what we gonna do we gonna find the largest element from the two already defined values we're gonna make three function the first function will contain two formal parameter both integer the second the definition gonna uh, take two parameter both would be float and the third definition will contain character however however there would be one function call and on the basis of value input or the value in uh, data type of the value input the function the program will automatically move towards the particular function definition so let's move ahead we're gonna make three function definition so we have to declare three prototypes function name would be same because we are doing overloading our function name would be one contains two integer copy this over the second function contain float and the third function contain both characters okay uh, we will enter the let's say okay let's make the function call here our function name is one here and we will uh, we want to pass let's say a and a okay uh, the program will match on the basis of ascii code if you are a computer scientist then you definitely know what is ascii code on the basis of ASCII code, it will determine that which character is bigger and which is smaller. 
So let's make tree function definition here. Obviously, because we entered A, so other two are not very useful in this program, but it clear it will clear your concept. You guys know that. In A. If A is bigger than B, then it will show It's else, but it will show obviously, it will show B is bigger. So, copy the same situation in other three definitions because the same condition is required over there except the formal parameter which uh, is float here so which function is going to run you guys better know that on the basis of this input data type the it will it gonna move to the specific function function uh, definition and obviously a is a corrector so it will move towards this third function and every function has same name so let's run the program in order to check which is right and which is wrong so Let's see. And A is bigger because the ASCII code of small a is uh, probably 96 and 95. However, the ASCII code of uh, capital A is 65 or 66 or something like that. I'm not sure you can Google it, guys. And uh, with the end of this program, I know you guys are pretty much clear about the concept. So in the end, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you the uses of function overloading. Many guys ask that what is the use of function loading and it is not available over there in, in, on internet. <coughs> or, sorry, or if it is present, it is in quite technical lang language, which is obviously very difficult to understand for students. So, function overloading is, the use of function overloading is to particularly save the memory, consistency, and readability. We can develop number two is we can develop more than one function with the same name obviously you guys watched in the previous two examples and the third one is function overloading is essential to allow the function name for example the constructor which we will we will discuss in later tutorials uh, to be used with the different argument types like you guys can see uh, uh, watch that uh, different arguments are using up here so i know okay What's next? Uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to discuss inline function in C++. Uh, and uh, if you like my channel, in the end, like always, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. And if you want to test your knowledge of C++ uh, or Java, here are two apps, C++ Programming Quiz app and Core Java Quiz. I know it's a five-star tutorial and you guys liked it. But still, if you have uh, any uh, like you think it's not good then give the low rating and do write in comment that what's wrong and in which thing we actually lags however like always thanks for watching peace